Someone lived here? Oh my goodness, look at this. Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX, here with my wife, Cassie. We are back at beautiful South Padre Island. I wanted to tell you about a couple of things. This is gonna be kind of a weird uh, visit, uh, a little different because we are not gonna be sleeping at the island, not gonna be camping out over here. Uh, my wife has a conference that she needs to attend at one of the hotels for the entire weekend, so we had to stay at a hotel uh, which means that I have to come in and out on a daily basis because we still want to enjoy the beach. Um, which means I want to take advantage of this little part right here to show you a little something. I'm sure for those of you that probably aren't, aren't too familiar, but uh, I got my yearly pass with the Cameron County uh, Parks um, Department and I was able to pay $100 and get a full year's pass to come into any of the beach access. Now, this, you know, beach access three, four, five, six, you know, Adolf Tome Park in Arroyo City, it's all included. So instead of paying, you know, the $14 or $12 every time that I come in, you know, I just flash this thing right here and, uh, you know, I can go ahead and, and do that. It was worth it for me because just this weekend alone, I'm gonna be going in and out from the beach axis and I didn't want to be forking out $14 on a daily basis. You're still going to need to pay $2 for the trash uh, collection fee, okay? You can get it back if you make it back and they're still at, at the front and uh, you show them the bag and, and you show your receipt and you should be able to get your $2 back. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you about was the suspension upgrade. I was dying to bring Sandy out here and test it out. I'm loving the suspension upgrade. The suspension modification has been amazing. Uh, it eats up the bumps. It's This is what it needed. I, I, I got more uh, of a lift, okay? A better lift. I also installed some, um, uh, the Timberin SES system. You know, they're just a fancy word for bump stops okay just some modified bump stops and got new brakes because the others were completely rusted out you know but fresh everything sandy's looking good and she's feeling good but anyway this weekend let's see what happens it's also toyota uh tacoma weekend you know so i can't wait to hang out with those folks uh that'll be tomorrow today's friday so it's day one honey feeling pretty good about this weekend yeah Hotel. <laughs> Hotel, she says. There we go. There we go. We spent our first day testing out Sandy. This trip is full of adventure, so I urge you to stick around until the very end. I appreciate your support, so please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hey guys, so day two, it is Saturday, day of Tacoma World. And I'm out here already at mile 11. I was driving by, I was heading to the East Cut, and I saw my buddy Ray hanging out out here. Let's go say hi to him. How you doing? Glad Pretty you. good, my brother. Pretty good. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, I see you have no canopy still. What's it's going not, on there? Man, actually, I did place an order, and what happened is that they told me they were uh, back order. Okay. They won't be available till next winter. Okay. But uh, so far it's been working out because it hasn't been raining at night and uh, thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, more air is flowing through because of, there's no rain flying. Yeah. The only uh, setback is that when the sun comes out, you're going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's time, time to wake it's up. It's time to wake up. All right, brother. Well, tight lines. Hope tight you have lines. a good one. Take care. Right, Robert, take care. We'll see you. We'll see you. soft on the way out here uh, high tide is supposed to be going down by this point but I want you to take a look 
hopefully the camera will do it justice and you can see just how beautiful just how beautiful the channel is right now nice and tranquil and nice aqua color to the water right here it's not as packed as I would imagine it to be but you have some uh, lines in the water right now so I hope some of these folks are enjoying themselves and hopefully they've caught a few uh, fish out here I can't wait to be out here in October for several days as I do want to uh, oh that was a mullet right there but I do want to extend an invitation to those of you who can make it out here and uh, who are good at fishing so you can teach me a thing or two and uh, I want to spend uh, several days out here uh, in October in October towards the end be uh, looking out for announcements on my Instagram of course this all has to do with you know it depends on the availability with weather the situation with the weather that has a lot to do with it but anyway I had to make it out here such a beautiful day and look at the conditions man it looks awesome really enjoy all your content and super cool to see you in person and see your car the GX man it's awesome well I see that you got a GX as well and David you got a taco over there tell me a little bit about your GX man well um, I bought it less than a year ago I had a 4Runner before I wanted more space I wanted more power um, didn't want to break the bank so this one came at a good at a good price for a lot of miles but yeah. it's been really good um, I'm a semi-retired mechanic so I work on my own stuff so I, know, I usually don't get scared with miles and obviously well, I would see your videos so that was one of the things that kind of swayed me I was between Land Cruiser or, or one of these or, or just a newer 4Runner yeah. but I, I really like the GX man it's it, pretty sweet it's a good option it's a really good option it's yeah. a good option hey so how's it going over here with the fishing it's been good. I mean, it's 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 not. We're not killing it or slaying it or limits or nothing like that. We've got a few uh, catfish. Obviously, those always come out to play, and uh, a couple of sharks. I did catch uh, one bigger uh, bonnet head, so yeah. it was about about 40 inches. So that was that was uh, my first shark of the year. So I'm pretty excited about that. that my ass. first big shark of the year. Yeah. Bigger for awesome. me. I don't plan to get monsters, so I'm good. <laughs> hey Tony, you're always hitting it hard over here at the jetties, man. How's it looking today? I try. Had a couple of sharks also. We had a couple of sharks. Of course, I think two stingrays, a bonnet head also. And we also had, uh, had a good run right now and I lost it. So, trying to hit into the blue over there. You can see a real nice blue line. So, we're uh -huh. actually walking in and casting it out as far as possible. And that's where we've been hitting. I'm curious, you know, you made it all the way to the East Cut over here, but why are you hitting the surf instead of uh, hitting the channel? Honestly, right over there. Yeah. It looks like there's a little drop. And you see how that doesn't break right there? Uh -huh. That means that it's, there's a nice little hole right there. Oh. So that's what we've been casting right now, right into that little hole where it's not breaking at all. So it's been good. We've yeah. been hitting some stuff there. Hey guys, so I was able to make it to Tacoma World here with some friends. I got Nacho, I got Omar, I got Cheeto, I got Rene, they're ladies, and Efrain's over here as well. So, uh, but I'm already getting welcome over here by Nacho. Nacho, what do you have for me? Some Kool-Aid? Some strawberry lemonade moonshine. Right Jesus, here. okay. Freshly Ooh, brewed. <laughs> yeah, because this is what I need. Okay. Straight from here? It's okay? Oh, that's going to be sneaky, because that is tasty. That is tasty. Everybody's going to drink from the same jar. Hey, man, I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe. I got to play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to play. It's good. Hell yeah. It has a little kick. I don't know if anyone else wants to try it. I would love to, but I'm already... I would love to, but but Robert already <laughs> put his dirty lips on it. <laughs> I work as a technician. As for Toyota 4, I've been there for about 30 years, so I've been working on their service to maintaining their vehicles, and that's... What's, what's your experience, man? Uh, would you say that somebody that's 
in the market, they say, let's say that somebody says, hey, I want to buy a vehicle right now that's going to be reliable. I want it to still be <laughs> working and I want to bring, I want it to give me value after paying it for so many years. After When I finish that note, I still want it to give me more service for a few more years. Would you say that some of these Toyota products still fit that bill? Yeah, I think uh, as far as I've been in the business with Toyota, I've seen them go uh, mileage wise from 100, 200 to 300, almost 350,000 miles with no engine problems. You know, Toyota brings a lot of, of their products from their family vehicles to their sports vehicles. Uh, they have the Supra, they have the Highlander, they have the Forerunners, more family. Uh, they have a Corolla for more younger generations. And, and of course they have the Tundras and the Tacomas. Work on Toyotas. Yes. You own a Toyota, so are you one of those guys that's like, hey, I put my money where my mouth is, so. Yes, all my vehicles that I own and my family owns, my kids owns, they're all Toyotas and they're very, very good products. Very good vehicles that I don't have to worry about them driving them or have to worry about them breaking down. Uh, they're, they're pretty good products. Okay guys, that's coming straight from a tech, a man with 30 <laughs> years. And you know, I'm sure that if he didn't believe in what he does and you know, his products, he wouldn't be driving one. How old, how old is yours? Mine's at 13 years old. 13 year old Toyota Tacoma and it looks great. Of course, you know, it does have an owner with a bunch of skills. <laughs> Joel, tell me how many years now? Uh, it's going on 13 years now. 13 years. Yeah. It's been a long time. Started off with about five trucks under one little canopy and it's gotten pretty big over the years and we're pretty grateful for all the people that show up all the time. Brother, and you still have, how, how, how old? <laughs> How old is your truck, or how long have you had it now? My truck is a 2010. 2010? Yeah, I'm not going to change anything more to her. She's done that, the way That's she the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be, yeah. First started looking for something to do in the valley, or for something for the valley people to do when I first started off. And I'm very grateful that more and more people have been coming. People come from Dallas, Houston, sometimes from across state lines, and it's a blast, man. It's a real blast. But these last couple of years, I have not been able to socialize as much because I have my wife and kiddos and I focus more on my kids. So it takes that a bit away from socialization, but it's all right, it's all good. But you're in front of the camera right now. What would you like to tell all the attendees from this year? Thank you all for coming very much. Here we go. It's day three and I run into my new friend Rene and his girlfriend. Rene enjoys photography so we decided to take some pictures by the shore. I continued on my way to the East Cut and decided to fly my drone. You know it's rare to see a Coastal GX video without a recovery of some sort. These people had it all under control, so I put away my Rhino USA recovery gear and saved it for later in the day. As I headed north, I noticed the GX, so I stopped by to say hello. Hey guys, this is who I ran into, this mom and son 
off-roading combo. He's got the Taco. She's got the GX 470. You know I have to stop with him and ask what's going on here because I never see this. Okay, uh -huh. starting with you, <laughs> what is your name? Mark. Mark, yeah. Mark, tell me, you've been coming out here. You're an avid off-roader, right? Yeah, I've uh, been coming out here for a long time. Started off with a Nissan Xterra like almost 10 years ago at this point. Moved up to Tacoma. Since then, been going all over the western half of the U.S. Now, your mom, she's driving this GX470. Did you convince her to follow you out here? What happened? Uh, well, this is my project, so she drives it just for fun. I mean, it's a great drive, so she enjoys okay. driving it. Um, and then we wanted to come out. She wanted to, to come out for the day. I'm going to camp. So she came out on her own, and then she's going to leave on her own. So yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. First time for her driving on the sand. Sylvia, you've been driving that GX470 over there. Right. And is that the first time that you actually off-road it here on the beach? Um, maybe a couple of years ago, but not, not the whole length. It was just a little bit. And it was, today was fun. And, and especially not in high tide, because you got the I, high I tide. I have no idea about tides and stuff like that. <laughs> he's the one, I, I just trust him completely because I know how long he's been coming here yeah. and I've worried enough. So now it, it's all on him, you know. He told me, this tide, that tide, you're going to be fine. I'm, I believe it, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, trust him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, he's been doing this quite a while, so yeah. yeah, I can trust him. I finally made it to the East Cut and explored the area. I made some interesting discoveries, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that report. I made my way south to mile 25 and decided to enjoy some peace and quiet. Mini camp is set up. So what do I have? Uh, leftover Gabriella's pizza and a little modelito. Yes, I'll pick up your chancla. Don't you worry about it. Check it out. I love coming out here freestyling because you never know who you're gonna run into. My buddy, John Paul Saucy. Did Hi I guys. pronounce it correctly? Yes, sir. Hey, nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> hey, John Paul, tell me, man, you're rocking this uh, uh, old school? 2009 Jeep Commander 3.7. It goes through the sand like butter. It's awesome. Every it weekend. Right Every weekend. Every weekend. And your specialty is the East Cut. Yes, sir. East Cut. And uh, so uh, what, do we, what do we have here today, man? Right, what, so what, how did it go? So... It went all right. This is what I was using today. I was targeting snook and juvenile tarpon. Uh huh. This is a hoagie right here, a one ouncer. See that hook bent? Yeah. That was from a tarpon earlier. Beautiful. And my Beautiful. line right here is a little freighted because of the tarpon. Last night we had caught uh, one good sized fat snook. Then this morning we had caught one common snook. I caught the common snook, and my buddy Andrew over there caught uh -huh. the, uh, the fat snook. Fat snook <laughs> angler! <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> so how long, and how long were you out there? We uh, showed up at about 11 p.m. last night. So you, you guys, you kind of pull like a, you go hardcore. Yeah. You, you, you didn't go to sleep or anything. No. You're running on nothing. Nothing. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, to be young, man. Okay, but it is well worth it. You were able to bring in some stuff yeah. with you. Well, that is wonderful, catch man. Catch and release kind of trip. That's, that's what this trip was for today. Catch so, guys, let me tell you, uh, in October, planning and doing a bigger, a bigger um, gathering. And I'm hoping that John Paul is one of the people that joins me and my buddies because I really need that good uh, angler energy, you know, because I suck at fishing. So I really need to, need, need to have some people that are going to bring in the good stuff, man. So looking forward to that. Thanks a lot, brother. Sounds good. Yes, sir. I've been looking out for somebody just like you. But then you walk on by and I knew what I had to do. The way you're moving, the way you shine, everybody's watching you. I want to make you mine. Okay, guys, this is not cool. Uh, I'm coming up on this very scary situation here. All right. What do you think, girls? What do you think happened here? I think the people that Dad belongs to are over there on the tent. Oh, you think so? I think so, because there's red in there, and it looks, it looks brand new. Uh, let's go take a look. I think someone lived there. Yeah. Someone lived here? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, that looks like dog food. Oh no. Oh, uh, look at that. That's the Michigan plate. Oh no. Yeah, guys. Oh yeah, that must have happened today or something. Yeah, this is fresh. I was here this morning and this was definitely not here. So this uh, looks like a Yukon XL. Yeah, you might call it a Suburban. Uh, yeah, this, this is a beach truck. It's all rusted out. See a lot of rust here. Um, but yeah, I hope no, nothing happened. I hope the people are okay. But they must have dogs and whatnot or pets. Because I see a lot of pet food and whatnot. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, we don't want to speculate as to what happened here because we really don't know. You know, it could have been a legit accident, accident or whatever. So, but these things happen. You know, you just got to be careful out here. I hope the person is okay. And I hope they recover this vehicle properly. It was time to leave, but in true Coastal GX form, we just had to recover at least one vehicle. For me, I had a dinner date with wifey and it was time to wrap it up. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you. See you very soon. Get up, get out, do something.